Hi, this is Tanusha Vardhani. I am going to explain you about the analysis of 2024 election data using the Power BI. The objective of this task is to analyze the 2024 result data to gain the insights into the election results, party performance and the voter trends across the various constituencies in this project. I have also used the Power BI to create the interactive visualizations and dashboards that will help the stakeholders understand the election outcomes and the dynamics between the different political alliances. The data descriptions includes the two types of uh, data which includes the election results data and the party alliances data. The election result data includes the ID state, consistency number, constituencies, leading candidate, leading party, trailing candidate, trailing party, margin status, etc. And the party alliance data includes the party name, alliance name, etc. And the data integration part is the most important and the initial process in our uh, in our analysis creating a relation between the leading party name and the party name in the election data set is a uh, important role uh, in the integration and next comes the cleaning and the preparation round it is uh, used to remove the redundancies and the inconsistencies in our data and make our uh, data prepared for the data analysis and the next part is the analysis and visualizations after cleaning our data now our, our data will be error free uh, in manner from this uh, we are going to analyze the data and we are going to uh, visualize it in a uh, crystal clear manner. Uh, for this we are uh, going to analysis and give a detailed descriptions about the overall results state wise analysis and the constituencies wise analysis which includes the visualizing and analyzing of the margin of victory and defeat and various constituencies party and analysis uh, comparisons which includes the performance of the different parties and their perspective alliances in terms of seats bonds margins and statuses and uh, the next part is the trend analysis which includes the identifying and visualizing the trends in the voting patterns such as regions with the high competitions or dominance by specifying parties or alliances and next part is the visuals used we are going to use the visuals like the tables cards pie charts clustered column chart line chart line in clustered column chart and the slicers uh, this is the power bi uh, window which will uh, depict you of the overall results in the part of visualizations we have also included the pie chart for the visualizations which uh, which determines the number of seats won by the parties and the alliances uh, which includes the total number of seats of 543 and the total number of seats won by them also and the next part is the state-wise and constituency-wise analysis which includes the bar charts uh, which depicts uh, the uh, election results analysis of various states which includes Gujarat, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Bihar, West Bengal, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh and it also uh, includes the state uh, constituencies-wise margins of victory and various analysis on the single position. The next one comes the uh, party and the alliance comparisons. Uh, here we have used the dot chart, uh, which is used for analyzing the number of seats and average of margin by the state and the leading party. And the next comes the trend analysis. We are going to use a uh, uh, graph uh, like uh, plot uh, for the trend analysis. Uh, basically, it is a comparison between the parties and their margin. And uh, the next one is the insights and the recommendations uh, which we are going to get it as an output which includes the total number of seats is 540. 62 parties are contested in the elections and the one seat is 23 and with the top of 240 and the India has an alliance of 208 seats then uh, Congress winning the 99 seats and independent parties have won the 82 seats and BJP at 1 lakh power. 25,092 votes and they won without oppositions in the Uh Basically, this is the insights and recommendations which we would uh, get and uh, get from the data which we have given and the analysis is done perfectly and uh, thus we have also visualized them effectively uh, by using the power of Thank you.